Hi guys, welcome to this new episode of my distribution board. Uh, today is the 7th of February 2022 and um, just want to give you a quick update as to what is happening here now. I am sure you guys have been following this sub uh, series. You must have been familiar with all the uh, gadget that I have here. I've got this um, chat controller for 1070 1, watts solar panel. There are two of them. Each of them is um, 535 and they are connected in parallel. It's a CAE a, a -E chat controller. And this is what I'm doing in real time right now. Got 162 coming in voltage in terms of watts. In terms of amps, it's 6.5. As I always said to you guys, there seems to be a difference uh, from what this watt meter is reading and what this watt meter is reading. Now, this happens to be more in real time. This also kind of in real time, but usually I notice that in terms of voltage, um, this one would do less compared to this one that is reading 179 right now. And this is telling me 160. 163 but in terms of hams this is telling me 652 and this is telling me four point something so there's a bit of a difference there but the reason why I'm doing this episode is just to give you a quick update in regards to my energy meter the digital energy meter as you can see from the 1st of February up to date from my inverter I've used 10.7 kilowatt hour and right here this is my national grid so what normally happens is this is the automatic transfer switch once this battery voltage reaches 24.3 it switches over to the national grid now but right now is from the inverter mode the DC and AC mode so that's why it's blinking here and uh, so from here from the national grid I've used 13.6 there are two rows there one on the bottom and one on the top now the top one I'm using it to measure from 1st of February until 28th of February. The bottom one um, is the reading from the time that this energy meter was installed. So I'm just going to ignore that and I'm going to be dealing with the top one. So, so far from 1st of February until 7th of February, I've just 13.6 kilowatt hour from the national grid. But from the inverter, I've used 10.7 kilowatt hour. Let's look at what we are doing in real time right now. We are 230 volt and uh, 2.5 amps in real time. And currently we are pulling around 413 watt of um, energy. So by and large, everything is doing good. I think I've explained about this particular charge controller. This is another charge controller that I use for the 1.6 kilowatt um, solar panel. And I have this watt meter as well that gives me real-time wattage, amperage, and the, and the solar panel voltage. But um, right now it's not giving accurate reading in terms of the voltage from the solar panel but this is giving me accurate reading the reason is i need to turn this off um, every morning in order to give me accurate reading but i don't want to do that right now because i don't want to delete the um the hand power usage and the watt hour usage for today so that's why i'm going to leave it i want to see what's going to happen until in the evening because i need to take that information put it on my spreadsheet i'm going to spread uh, I'm going to share my spreadsheet with you guys to see how I've been collecting the data since November 2021 and um, give you more analysis and I will use that to compare as to what I'm getting from the solar panel going into the battery and my load usage what I'm getting from the load so this is gonna be looked into this is the first time I'm doing this I'm comparing the load usage compared to what I'm getting from the uh, solar panels into the battery so at the end of the month I'll be able to compare the two data and share with you guys and also sh share my spreadsheet with you guys with the way I've been collecting the 
data and um, do my analysis from there so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel and you have a great day um yeah so i didn't talk about the third uh chat controller here and this is for two solar panels each of them uh will be 400 watts so i've got 800 watt solar panel coming into this top one and that also comes with um with the watt meter that gives me day-to-day -day reading real-time reading of what is coming through into this charge controller straight into the battery